Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I'm doing something different. Today I'm unboxing this the legendary collection of Yu-Gi-Oh. I know it's different from what I usually do because I do a lot of Pokemon. But like I said, this is a channel that involves my family, food. Pretty much everything, unboxing anything and everything. When I mean everything and anything, it, it don't matter what it is. But yeah, earlier I took off the plastic. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I'm just really like curious to know what's in here. Um, as you can see in the back, it says what it comes in, what it's in it, like the Jitching God cards and some booster packs. I haven't opened this in like years. Um, I don't remember the last time I collected Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I have a whole, <laughs> I have like a lot of cards, but I have way more Pokemon than I do Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, this should be pretty interesting. This is really nice. I really love this box. This is really nice. So, let's see what's in it. So, if you guys can see, this is what's in it. We got booster packs. We got the Egyptian God cards. And also under this, we have, let's see. I honestly love this box. This is really sick. So we got the the board. So when you go dual, that's how it looks like in the front. Well, this is the back. I lied. And this is the front. It's really sick. This brings me so many memories. Like, you guys have no idea. Yu-Gi-Oh! was such a big thing for me when I was in, let me see, middle school, I believe. I, um, yeah, middle school. There was a lot in middle school because I remember I was really into it um, in middle school. Pokemon was more elementary to middle school, but yeah. So, I don't want to open these. Or maybe I should. Because, I mean... <laughs> I already know it's the three god cards plus, uh, not a Charizard, <laughs> a blue eyes white dragon, a red eyes black dragon, and a dark magician. Off the bat, these are this is what it's in. It already these cards are right here, guys. For the booster packs, I don't know. I'll open those. These I don't want to touch. I don't want to touch these. Like the Charizard I got in that um in that uh. Champions path, I believe. The Tars are not even open it in the little thing yet. But so we got all these packs. These are so old school, man. Like I haven't seen these in years. So apparently he's got two secret rare cards each. I don't know, it's been years since I opened cards like this. Like honestly, I was so debating if I want to open these. Because it's so nice. I know I can just buy another one and just, you know, display what I get. But these are, like, really cool. Like, I don't know. The vibe is so different from, like, the Pokemon. Because these are, like, old school. Like, getting those old school booster packs is the equivalent of getting these booster packs. I haven't seen these in years. And mind you, these, from what I'm understanding, you can't even get anymore. These are really hard to find. And I didn't want to open it because it's like, oh man, this is really nostalgic to me. This is really cool, but I'm going to open these. These are different. These have nine cards in it instead of ten. So I'm going to open this one. See what we get. I don't even remember what is even rare or anything when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, it, it's been so long. So, first card. You do not have this card. Let me see, my camera's kind of blurry. Okay. A lot of these cards I have. It's, but it's so cool because there's so many memories. So we got two of the same cards. Well, two different cards. Let's see. Space Jar was one of my favorite cards. And mind you, these are like the old school cards. These are like getting old school Charizard, Blastoise, Charmander, and all those guys. Okay, it's cool. Hungry Hamburger. I don't think I have that. That's pretty cool. Like, you guys don't get Like, this is so, like, wow to me. This is so old school. These are really nice cards. It's not like the Pokemon cards. You're guaranteed, like, hollows and stuff. 
This is way different. It's a whole different vibe, a whole different field. Never thousand to unbox or open Yu-Gi-Oh cards again. And I'm telling you guys, it's been a long time. Who is this guy? A lot of these I've seen because these are the older school ones that I have already. Ooh, Wing Weaver. Okay, I have this card. This is sick. It's bringing back memories. I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh! I couldn't really get into the whole... I, I know how to duel. I'd rather duel and collect versus battling with Pokemon cards. You know, I like I mentioned before in my videos, I collect Pokemon cards. I don't like doing the whole, <clears throat> you know, battling because I don't get it. But when it comes to, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll definitely duel you guys. Like, it's so much easier. I actually get what to do when all that stuff. I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Like for years, like from the video games to the cards. So I got these ones and these ones. I'm going to open these ones. See what we get. <clears throat> Hopefully get something really like mind-blowing. These are super old school. So these are like really old school cards. Okay, some of them are really strong, believe it or not. Like their attack points are pretty good. Some of these I don't remember. <laughs> I remember watching this all the time. Okay, so we got one that's like the writing's hollow. Well, shiny. Like I remember watching this on TV. Also watching Pokemon. Okay, so we got a hollow dark moon force. Don't have this in my collection. This is pretty cool. So let's see what else we got. Wow, some of these are cool. Like, <clears throat> like cards like these are interesting. So these are the cards that I end up getting from this box. These cards are literally going to stay in this box until years later until I decide to open it again to be honest with you guys because I mean I got like majority of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon I have them in the like a steel case it's not organized <laughs> currently since I've been organizing I have like, all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards in like <laughs> Ziploc bags which is kind of lame but it's only I don't have sleeves for them maybe I'll use the Pokemon ones for them or just buy a binder but yeah, these are these are pretty cool. Oh, pot of greed. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, what is this? So we got Celtic Guardian. I remember this is Yugi's one of Yugi's favorite cards. So this hand was pretty good. Like Pokemon nowadays, it's like you're guaranteed maybe two cards or. Two or one hollows. These ones you're literally guaranteed. I don't even know, man. I haven't done my research on these cards. Like I mentioned, I used to collect the old school ones and maybe some newer school ones, and then I never collected Yu Gi Oh again. It's been years. So this brings back a lot of memories. <clears throat> oh, Cybersaurus. Okay. At least I could pronounce these guys. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of these cards are not hollow graphics, but the writing is sh like shiny gold type writing and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. This is like brings so many memories. So you guys have no idea. But like I was saying, all these cards, since I don't have space room, are staying in this box as is. For, I don't know until I decide to open this again and, or put them in a binder or something. I know I don't really have many duplicates when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh cards more than more Pokemon than anything. But let's see what we got here. Some of these, oops, some of these cards are pretty cool. Would I use them in the actual duel? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, to be honest with you guys. This is not the hand I would have, or deck I would have. Dice roll. But yeah, I'm pretty good at Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Like, I always win, apparently. This is pretty cool. This is sick. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So that's the booster packs. It's not going to be a long video, but... Just for the heck of it, I'm going to open the, the God cards and show you. I know a lot of people haven't seen these cards in like forever and whatnot, but let me show you these Egyptian God cards. Like I said, I'm literally keeping them in this box. I'm never messing with these again. So, just to show you guys what's in here. So, we have Obelisk of Tormentor. Holy crap, this is sick. It's different from the other cards. Look, it's blue behind it. Let me show you. A regular card so this is literally blue and look brown wow okay this is really cool obelisk the tormentor I know this jolts a lot of memories for a lot of people put him right in the middle it's weird okay now I see what they're doing so we got oh wow so we got red eyes black dragon and mind these cards are limited edition limited meaning this these are really hard to find nowadays so we'll keep that right there we got the dark magician limited edition look at that guys it's so cool and i'm assuming there's the um hold on guys i'm trying to put them in the box while destroying them this is really cool and we have i'm assuming blue eyes white dragon look at that guys sweet and it's um limited edition i'm mad <laughs> i have one of these i have maybe the old school blue eyes another blue eyes in a different form i think this one now or the same one i don't remember but i creased it so bad in the front i'm so upset because it was one of the rarest charizards you can find so I'm, i was pretty <laughs> pissed about that okay so for our last two cards look at the back of these like i mentioned they're so different like just staring at these are sick look at these guys slifer the sky dragon and wing dragon are raw i think one reason i used to be so into Yu-Gi-Oh was because of egypt everything was egypt related like <laughs> wow these are so cool like the backs are so unique like These are, like, I'm glad I opened these, to be honest, this box, because it brought a lot of memories, like, <laughs> it's really cool, it really is. But yeah, guys, that concludes this video, uh, like, subscribe, tell me what you think I should open, I was told by a subscriber to go get the Pokemon Evolution boxes before they get, you know, really, really high in price, I definitely gotta look at that and see... Um, you know, see if I'm going to do that. But yeah, that concludes the video. Like, subscribe. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me what memories you got by me opening these packs. And I'll catch y'all later.